Hello everyone, here we are going to start with the exercise 2C of chapter compound interest without using formula. Now here we go with question number 1. In question number 1, the sum is invested at compound interest compounded yearly and if the interest for the two successive years is Rs. 5700 and 7410. You have to calculate the interest rate of interest. So as we know the increase in the interest is due to the interest rate of interest on this particular value. So first of all we are going to find the difference of these two and here we get the in difference of these two interest as 1710. So this value is the interest on this original one that is interest 1. So we are going to put the formula for the rate in which the principal will become this interest is this one and the time is 1 year. So we get the formula for the rate equals to i into 100 upon p into t and now we are going to place the values and on solving we get 30% as answer. Now here in question number 2 a certain sum of money is put at compound interest compounded half yearly if the interest for the two successive years is half years is 650 and 760.50 find the rate of interest so it is similar to your question number one but here in this case the interest is compounded half yearly so again first of all we are going to find the difference of the two interests after that we are going to put the formula for the rate in which the time will be 1 by 2 now after placing the value and putting the and solving it we will be getting 34% as the answer. Now let's go for the third question. Here, a certain sum amounts to rupees 5292 in the two years and 5556.60 in three years. Interest being compounded annually, you have to find the rate of interest and then the original sum. So again, first of all, we are going to find the difference of these two amount, then we are going to find the rate and here we get the difference of the two amounts as 264.60 now we'll put the formula for the rate here for this situation the principal will become 5292 the interest we have got and the time will be one year now we'll solve it now solving we get five percent as a rate for this question now we'll go for the principal and for the principal we are going to assume the principal be x here we are supposed or assumed our print sum be x and for the first year the principal become x now the interest will be x upon 20 now the amount for the first year and here we get the amount for the first year as 21 upon 20 x now this amount will become the principal for the second year and here we go for the interest and the interest is 21 upon 400 x now we'll go for the amount of the second year and here we get the amount for the second year as 441 upon 400 x now this amount that was being given to us in question that is 5292 will be equals to this one therefore we can able to find the value of x and on equating 441 x upon 400 with 5200 92 we get the value of x as 4800 now let's move to the next question now here we go with question number six Geeta borrowed rupees 15,000 for 18 month at a certain rate of interest compounded semi-annually if at the end of six month it amounted rupees 15,600 you have to calculate the rate of interest and then the total amount of money that Geeta must pay at the end of 18 month in order to clear the amount. Now here first of all we will find the rate with the help of the difference between the amount and the principal. And here we get the interest of 6 month as 15,600 minus 15,000 and we got 600 as interest for the 6 month. Then we are going to find the rate with the help of the formula i into 100 upon p into t. Here the time will be 1 by 2 as it is a case of half year. 
and finally we get the rate as 8%. Now we will go for the amount for the 18 months and for that we are going to start with the second half year because the amount for the first half year is known to us. Here for the second half year the principal will become 15,600 and the interest will be will be rupees 624. Now we will calculate the amount of the second half year and we get the amount as 16,224. Now we will move for the last half year that is after the 18 month one and here the principal will become this amount that is 16,224 and in the third year we get the interest as 648.996 now we will calculate the amount for the third half year and we get amount as 16,872.96 and this is the only amount which C have to pay at the end of 18 months to clear the account so the amount to be paid by Geeta to clear the account is 16,872.96 now I'll do question number 10 here in this question we have to find the sum of which is invested at 10% compound compounded annually on which the interest for the third year exceeds the interest for the first year by rupees 252 here let's assume the sum invested bx and now we are going to calculate for the first year and here we get the interest for the first year as x upon 10 now the amount will be 11 upon 10 x now we will calculate for the second year here the principal will be 11 by 10x which was the amount for the first year and in this case the interest is 11 by 100x and the amount will be and here we get the amount for the second year as 121 upon 100x now we will calculate for the third year and here the principal will be 121 upon 100x which was the amount for the second year now the interest is 121 upon 1000x now here in the question we were being given that i3 minus i1 is 252 so according to question we will take the difference of the two i3 and i1 as 252 and we will solve for x and on solving we get the value of x as 12000 so the amount the required sum is 12,000 rupees. So, I invested is rupees 12,000. Now, let's move to the next question. Now, let's go for question number 12. Here, a man borrows 10,000 rupees at 10% compound interest compounded yearly, and at the end of each year, he repays 20% of the amount for that year. So, how much money is left unpaid just after the second year? Here, for the first year, the principal is rupees 10,000 and the interest will be rupees 1,000 and then the amount equals to 11,000 rupees and now he is paying back 20% of this amount so we get 11,000 minus 20% of 11,000 and on calculation we will be getting so here we get 8,800 rupees as the amount left after repayment now we'll go for the second year and here in the second year the principal is 8800 rupees and the interest for the second year is 880 rupees and here we get the amount for the second year as 9680 now the amount left after repayment equals to here 9680 minus 20% of 9680 now I'll solve it and so we are left with 77 and 4 4 so 7744 rupees is left unpaid just after the second year and here we get the money left unpaid just after the second year that is 7744 that's all from this video thank you